Animation is not easy. It can be time consuming. You need all kinds of things to make it work. But when it does, it is one of the most rewarding things to have done. Now, I'm not a full time animator, but I do like animating from time to time. So in this video, I hope to make animation a bit simpler for you guys watching. All right, first off, the most common thing that people animate is people. So when demonstrating a walking animation, it would be a good idea to show it on a human. However, I just finished creating this T-Rex rig in another video and I really want to try it out on some cool animations. Also, if you want to see the creation of the T-Rex rig, you can check it out here. What the rig can do also helps define what we can do with the animation. And the T-Rex is still a biped, so many of the same principles of the walk cycle still apply and we get some extra things to play with like the tail and a much heavier character. Once again, I'm not an animator, so my style of animation is very much built around my needs, but it usually gets me to where I need to be pretty fast. First off, grab a reference of a walk cycle. This would be our guide to begin with. This one is nice as it breaks everything into keyframes, which is how I like to work. Then I like to work with auto keying turned on, the big blue icon right there. It makes it so every time we move something, a keyframe is set for that object's location, rotation and scale. To animate a rig in Blender, you have to jump into pose mode on the rig. This is a general mode for posing stuff. But if we move stuff around and start putting down keyframes, it becomes the animation mode as well. So neat. In the very first frame, we will do the contact pose where the legs are split apart and the back foot is raised slightly with the toes sticking to the ground, but the ball is moving upwards. I'm a big believer in acting out the motion for yourself to get a sense of timing and feel. If you are doing a creature, it will also help if you act out the walk or look at live reference to get a better idea of what is happening. The next keyframe is the down pose and we are animating this creature in place, which means that we won't be moving it back and forth. It is like it's on a treadmill. This makes the animation more game friendly and in general just more flexible. This means that the feet now have to slide because both feet are touching the ground. You can just grab both of them and slide them back to make sure the spacing between them stays the same. Then I can lift the ball of the foot up even more and then we can lower the hip to really feel the weight in the T-Rex's walk. After that, we can go to the next keyframe and also notice that I'm spacing the keyframes with two in between. This is to stretch out the timing of the step. We can always adjust this later, but it's a good thing to keep in mind. This third keyframe will be the passing pose. So the T-Rex is stretching out its leg, now only standing on one leg and moving the other one forward. An additionally important thing is looking at the character from the other sides. This way we can also move the hip side to side to put weight on the leg below it so that there's space for it to swing its other leg below it. Once again, pay attention to how much the foot moved along the ground to get a smooth motion. The fourth keyframe is the up pose, and this is also what I call the falling pose. Looking at the T-Rex from the side, it should feel like it will start to fall over. And then in the next keyframe, it will actually catch the fall with the opposite foot, thereby creating one whole step. You may also have noticed how I go back and forth between the keyframes. This is a good thing to do to check if your motion feels right. Now that we sort of got one step, I'm gonna go over my animation again and add some secondary action to make everything feel a bit more alive. Here we could be adding some counter action to the tail. The tail especially is a great place to make everything feel more organic. Oh yeah, this is gonna be great. Now we have a solid building block. Then we can start doing the magic part. Exciting. Grab all the bones and grab all the keyframes. Hit control C over the keyframes to copy all the transforms. Then go to the next keyframe position where the step would be and hit control shift V. Boom. Now it has pasted the inverse of the steps we just made. Amazing. This only works if your rig is symmetrical, but it's super neat trick and we now have two steps. Then looking at the timing of these steps, I want it all to be a bit slower. So we can just grab all the keyframes and scale them, then copy the first keyframes to be the last keyframe, readjust the timeline range, and now we have a looping animation of our walking T-Rex. Amazing. This is the foundation. Now we can start layering stuff to make it even better. First off, I'm going to give a bit of weight and swing to the torso. Like we did with the hip, we can move the torso from side to side, but with some delay to make it swing around. And then to add to the motion, we can do the same for the head, which will further be delayed to give a strong feeling of kind of weight. This is all the stuff we call secondary action. And then it's pretty much just about adjusting from here on. Animation is a craft you have to practice a lot, but hopefully some of these tips will help you along. I find breaking down the motion into keyframes the easiest way. 
and start with something simple like a walk cycle. And then when you get a feel for weight and balance, move on to bigger things. And sometimes in animation, it is really the small things that makes everything feel snappy and weighty. But I gotta say, the result is so worth it. <laughs> Look at him go. Just one happy T-Rex. I really hope you learned something new. Hopefully animation is a bit less daunting now. If you wish to learn more and see the full creation process of the T-Rex, including sculpting, texturing, rigging, and much more, check out the Creating Dinosaurs in Blender process over on Gumroad. Or if you wish to get access to the T-Rex model, fully textured and rigged, ready for games and films, you can check that out as well over on Gumroad. Well, that's pretty much it for now. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.